Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. Today I am focusing mostly on my eyes and lip makeup today. I already have my base done when you get into the video, so I wanted to show you that you can use some products for multiple different purposes. So if you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. And if you wanna see how to get this look that I have on my face here, then just keep on watching. Okay, so today I'm going to do a super duper fast tutorial. I wanted to focus on the products that I'm using. Not the ones that I use all the time, but maybe some that I'm just trying out and spicing in there, shaking things up a little bit. I already have my face base done. I have my concealer and I have my foundation on and I've already set it all. So everything else I'm gonna show you today. We're just gonna dive right in. We're just gonna do this thing. I wanna dip into my bronzer. Love this bronzer, I use it all the time. Too Faced Milk Chocolate. I just washed my face brushes and it looks so clean and so nice. One of the nicer things in life is putting a nice, fresh, clean makeup brush on your face. Your brush is so soft. Also, I'd like to add that today I tried a new foundation. I tried the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I really do like it. It's really great coverage, but the consistency is super, super thick. I tried the second to lightest shade because I thought, oh, well, I'm fake tan right now, so, you know, it should work semi-well with my skin tone. It looked like it would but I was so wrong. It's definitely, like, by itself it's too orange. I actually had to mix one of my other foundations that's like basically white, since I had to mix my paler foundation in with it to make it kind of match, but it's still a little orange in my opinion. Just word to the wise, if you're super pale, I would probably steer away from that just because the color range is not super amazing. But if you're like my skin tone probably, then you can probably get away with the lightest shade. So, that's cool. And I love this bronzer for fair skin tones. I feel like it's the perfect mixture of warm and cool. So next, I use this all the time too. I'm going to use my Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I love using it. I think it's so pretty. I forgot to bring my blush brush, so I'm just gonna use my bronzer brush because I'm too lazy to go back and get it. It's okay, it's gonna blend it all together. You see what I'm doing there? Next, I'm going to use the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And this is the holiday edition, I'm pretty sure. There are a lot of other glow kits out there. I'll put a specific link to this specific one down below in the description box, of course. Um, but I wanted to show you guys all the shades that it comes in. They range from lighter to more deep. We have Snow, White Sand, Golden Dawn, Sunday, Amber Gold, and Hot Sand. These I probably won't ever use as highlighter because they're really dark. But I'm gonna show you what I do with them in just a second. And this one is great for when I'm super pale and I want like a super reflective white highlight or you know, in a corner highlight. And then these ones I'll probably use, and maybe that one, but these ones I'll probably use more for my highlight. We're gonna jump into the eye look and I wanted to use this palette today. So I'm gonna primarily use this palette for my eyes. It's super easy, like this look, literally anybody can do it. Don't even, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a transition shade, just any transition shade that you like. I'm taking my Naked Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. This is my favorite neutral palette ever. I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna dip into Naked 2, the Naked 2 right here. And I'm just gonna build up a transition shade right on my crease. Next, I'm going to go into the palette. I think I'm gonna use Sunray. No, I think I'm gonna use Amber Gold. Mm, I don't know which one. I'll dip into both. I'm gonna use Sunray Amber Gold and we'll see what happens from there. I'm literally just taking my finger. I would like to mention that some of these are a little bit glittery, like Sunray has a little bit of glitter. Snow, the white one, definitely has glitter in it. You can see that there's glitter, but it doesn't look like chunky glitter, like you're, like you're 12 years old. So yeah, if there's shades in a palette that in a highlight palette, for instance, where you think, oh, I'm never gonna use that shade, that's just like a wasted color on me, just think outside the box. There's other ways you can use colors besides the intended or branded use, you know what I'm saying? Highlight inner corner. I wanna dip into snow. Yeah, so when you use your flat shader brush, that makes a really pretty soft inner corner highlight. Next, I'm going to do just a small, small winged liner. I'm going to use the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner. I'm probably not going to do this on camera because I would mess it up. 
Then we're gonna do the lower lash line that I used before for my transition shade and pinch it and just take that right underneath. Okay, we're gonna go into mascara. I use this, I'm probably gonna use this until it just dries out every day, so. It's the Benefit Stereo Mascara. I'm just gonna coat my lashes a bajillion times with this. Now that that's done, I'm gonna move on to the highlight. I think I'm gonna use white sand. And again, I like to focus that right at the tip of my nose and then at the bridge of my nose right here and a little bit down the center. I very selectively highlight my face. Otherwise, I just look really greasy. And I'll do my cupid's bow. So after you feel like you're sufficiently glowy, you're gonna move on to the lips, final and last step. I was gonna do a red lip, but I feel like that's so traditional and I've done it before, so I wanted to mix it up and use a nude color because I never use nude colors. First, I'm gonna line my lips with the Rock and Rose by um, Jordana. almost actually the same shade as this lip liner. It is the Essence Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade 06. It's actually a really pretty dark mauve brownish color. Um, and I just think it's really pretty. Um, it's very fall winter, but it's not expected red color, so. All right guys, that is the finished look. I really enjoyed how it turned out and I wanted to show you guys that you can use products for different purposes so if you do like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below and I will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>